Right, hello and welcome to Camel Finance. I'm your boy Camel and once again Klaus Schwab has penetrated the cabinets. Um, they got their man in power. I completely missed this. I saw that this guy had become the president or the prime minister, president of Brazil. Didn't really think much of it and then I saw this and I thought oh yeah, it makes perfect sense, right? It makes perfect sense that all of these world leaders are under the same three-letter organization. Anyway, if you didn't know, now you do. This week, of course, Fed meeting starting today and finishing tomorrow. So pick one, dovish or hawkish. I have no idea, to be honest. You can see the majority are expecting hawkishness. So we'll see. I would lean more on dovishness. They kind of seem to have convinced me, at least, that they're thinking about becoming more dovish. They seem to have been laying the, bri the, the groundwork to say that we might see a 75 basis point hike today or tomorrow. And then start to reduce the amounts perhaps 50 or 25 basis points thereafter so we'll see how this goes i'm seeing more and more of these sorts of opinions big fed week coming up below is the current thinking of hikes and the subsequent rate cuts in 2023 a lot will be about the wording of powell's statement so don't focus so much on the rate hike itself so perhaps the rate hike is not super super important and it's more the tone of powell and the wording used and moving to data dependency bitcoin exchanges can now open bank accounts after years of court battles in Chile. So this is a small victory and we love to see small victories. FTX is now available in the United Arab Emirates. So you may have heard of the Bitcoin bull run, but have you heard of the Bitcoin camel run? Prepare yourself. Enormous inflows are gonna be coming from the United Arab Emirates from the Saudi region. This bull run or camel run is going to be the bull run of all bull runs. Check out what this Italian restaurant is doing. They say, help us to help you. If you pay your full bill in cash, you'll receive 10% off your total bill. Who wouldn't want that? Fight against the cashless society. Love to see this. Just uh, stick a lightning node in there and then they're good to go, I reckon. The e-commerce giant, Mercado Libre, has launched a Bitcoin trading in Mexico. So we are seeing this build momentum in Mexico. We're starting to see Mexico look to become the next country to adopt the Bitcoin standard and have Bitcoin as legal tender. They really seem to be pushing forward towards this now and possibly Switzerland thereafter. So we love to see it. Let's keep going. Bitcoin balances on exchanges has seen a massive drop. Someone is stacking big while others are fearful. So you can see here, whilst we continue to base, start to head up, there are massive amounts of Bitcoin being withdrawn from the exchange. Asset management giant Apollo has launched a Bitcoin and crypto custody service for its clients. And Apollo manages just over half a trillion in assets. So this is massive, massive money. Fidelity, we have seen, of course, with trillions under management. We've also seen BlackRock with trillions under management partnering with Coinbase. I think we could possibly see a 10 or $11 trillion market cap for the crypto market. Huge, huge money is going to flow into this space in the near future. At the same time, the Binance CEO, CZ, has said that he wants to help Elon solve the problem on Twitter using Bitcoin and crypto. So I did warn about this a couple of days ago. I said we're likely going to see crypto integrated into Twitter and it's likely going to be partnered with Binance. So from Bitcoin and freedom to CBDCs and digital slavery, this is a wonderful clip summarized in just two minutes. So I'm going to play you that now. If your government decided to freeze your bank accounts today, you think they might have some power over you tomorrow? Did you know this has already been tested successfully in a first world country this year? What if I told you there were people planning to take complete control of your money and therefore control of your life, your choices and your future? Some might call you a conspiracy theorist for even thinking it, except it is happening in plain sight. It's just being positioned as something that's good for you. And what if I told you the dominant countries of the world are leading you to believe they are in conflict when they're actually working together for the sake of a one world monetary system? It's called misdirection. And until you see what's hiding in the hands behind their backs, you will have no choice but to follow along with their agenda. You will own nothing and be happy. And apparently this refers to your money now. It's not my saying, it's officially published text within the World Economic Forum, a highly inclusive club of billionaires, global policymakers, and heads of central banks, all of which who met in Davos this year to further this reset agenda. This is something I forecasted to our clients a full 10 years before it became public knowledge. 
Your only way out of this is to be three steps ahead, is to play them at their own game and think for yourself and know the central bank's plans before they execute them. This video will show you their plans, one of which is the CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, programmable money that's in full control of those behind the program itself and those that got us into this mess. From automatic taxation to when and where you're allowed to make purchases to the next level of control at the push of a button. Buckle up and get ready because we're already on this ride coming up. Continuing with this theme of CBDCs, India's central bank plans to launch its digital rupee today. Today, ladies and gentlemen. So we are indeed running out of time every single day. If you want to know how to see things that nobody else seems to be able to see, you of course only have to open your eyes. You better opt out and you better do it quickly. Let's keep going. The red is savings accounts. The blue is credit card debt. As you can see here, savings at all time lows, credit card debt at all time highs. This is the reset playing out in the real world. This is your average Joe. This is how they are affected. If you're lucky enough to be able to buy gold, silver, Bitcoin, crypto, equities, if you're lucky enough to be able to accumulate assets ready for this reset, then you are morally obligated to share this information and to help educate people. Because this is the majority of the population getting poorer and poorer every day and more and more indebted. Do what you can to exit the system and do what you can to educate those around you. After FOMC concludes tomorrow, and we have processed whatever information comes out of that, we will then be turning our focus towards inflation. Inflation will be the next major market moving event, in my opinion. And the data continues to show that we should expect CPI about to collapse. The rate of change in the M2 expansion, as you can see, has dived off a cliff. CPI should be about to dive off a cliff too. And in the lead up to the Fed meeting, we got money supply data for September. M2 was down minus 0.6% month over month and down three of the four past months. A year ago, the year over year trend was plus 12.9% and it's now down to 2.6. Back to where it was in July 2010. Inflation is set to get crushed. And I think this is what is going to drive or one of the contributing factors besides the record amount of bearish sentiment and excessive amounts of puts in the market and shorts i think this is what's going to drive this market to new highs and i think this is what's going to catch everyone out i think this is going to end up being the catalyst i do also expect some dovishness from the fed we'll be about to find out tomorrow whether or not that is a delusional expectation the equities are at critical points as i'm about to show you just before we get into the charts as you can see here the dow, the dow is right into resistance Okay, and people expect this to just roll over again and make new lows. That could certainly happen, but it could also break out too, remember, and that would be, in my opinion, the path of most pain. Most people are expecting this move lower. At the same time, this is the NASDAQ. Okay, look at this bottom trend line here. This touch is the low of the great financial crisis, okay, of 2008. This is the C19 plunge that occurred in around March of 2020. Perfect touch. And now here we are right into it so as you can see the dow and the nasdaq both in absolutely critical areas if we were to violate this trend line then that would be incredibly bad and if we were to get rejected from this trend line instead of breakout then it's only reasonable to expect that we would take out that low so as you can see we are right into resistance for the dow we are right into support critical support for the nasdaq so these are very 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 critical levels and very 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 pivotal points one last thing I wanted to point out before we jump into the charts is you can see here, this is the peak of the dot com bubble. And this was resistance, 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 fake out. Then we finally get above it. And now here we are back testing it. Are we about to flip this into support before we have that one final blow off move? That remains to be seen. Noticing the dollar starting to cool off. Um, I wonder if we could try to figure out where we're going to run into some issues. That there, let's color this yellow for now, just so we can see what's going on. Seems like a reasonable place to get hung up. Are we going to get hung up before that? Maybe. I think this is mostly just going to wait and see what the Fed says. We will find out tomorrow, of course. 10 year yields. Look, I've been doing this a couple of times. I've been saying, is this what's going to happen? Maybe that's what we're seeing play out. Again, need to keep an eye on the Fed in the meantime. There's not much to say today. We're still trying to see if we can get a dive down. If that's going to occur, it ought to happen today. If not, then we might have to call this the cycle low. 
and entertain trying to trade a breakout with this sort of ball flag pattern. We still have exposure via the NASDAQ, so long and strong continue to push. We'll see what happens here. Here's the Dow look right into critical resistance. This is what everyone's sort of championing. I think this is what the majority expects, another rollover and a dive down. That remains to be seen. But as you know, I think that there's a good chance we could have a crack at breaking this downward sloping trend line. And that is, of course, the final hurdle. Once we're out of here, then it should be a quick straight shot up to test the highs at least. Here's the FTSE 100. Um, I did put this as a trade idea. I did not trade. I did not take this trade, but I did indicate this as a trade idea, a breakout above this horizontal. So perhaps some of you got in there. If you did, let me know. I'm going to now let this one go. But I think in hindsight, this was where I should have got in, as I've said multiple times. But that's fine. You can't hit every single trade. Nice to see what's happening from Coinbase here. This is exactly what I wanted. One dive down into this cycle low. I'll be looking for a swing here. Anytime we can get a swing now, I will be looking to add this in the longer term accounts and i will make sure to notify you as i do that kind of expecting to see microstrategy do the same little dive down by that swing and we can go same is true of raya if we zoom in on this ooh, if we zoom in on this you can see breakout holding this line so i wouldn't be surprised to see one more dive down and we can go and i think the same is going to be true of marathon looks like it's working on that dive down now into that cycle low so i'm really happy with that that's exactly what i wanted to see and i think that sets us up for being able to capitalize on this over the next week and a half at the most maybe less here's tesla tesla i said a bit of chop this week and then i think we can go but that's what i expect to see i expect to see this move higher and the same is true of apple a little bit more chop perhaps over the next day and a half and then i think we can go continuing to push my gold short catching a little bounce today i think that's because the dollar's off at the moment but not really much i can do about this just continue to push this trade bitcoin i think it does want to roll over i think it the miners or the equity the bitcoin related equities i've shown you already i think they're kind of indicating that this wants to dive lower we know from a cycle count perspective this is now in the timing band day 55 but i don't see any clear cycle low there it would be a real pain if we didn't get one but i'm pretty confident we will since we can expect these to behave at least 80 percent of the time a few more days i think we see this dive down and then we can buy that swing same is true of Ethereum. Here's Ethereum. So breakout retest, not, not quite resuming yet. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it dive down. XRP, still doing a whole lot of nothing. Long and strong, continue to push. Matic, I did say we might have to see this roll over into that cycle low. And that looks to be what is happening at the moment. So long and strong, continue to push. Zcash, same story. Looking for, it appears to be pulling down. So look for a swing and then we can buy that, I think. And that is the analysis from me. So if you found value here today, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like on the channel. Subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you turn the notifications on if you want to see how I hit these trades over the next week and a half. We've been very, very patient, stalking from the sidelines like a predator. So we will continue to do that. All lies on the Fed today and tomorrow. I'll be sure to update you as and when. In the meantime, look after yourselves. Take care from me. All the best. Cheers. Bye.